Hi, welcome back. It's uh, Linda, the Lady of Lady and the Frogs. If you're new around here, I am a reseller, an online reseller. So I buy things generally from charity shops and sell them um, more or less on eBay. And I have loads of stuff here. I seem to have two boxes worth of stuff. And yeah, that's just what I've picked up from this week. So I'm going to jump right into this because it's absolutely ridiculous how much stuff I've managed to get out. Um, yeah, I think I showed that in a previous video. So I've paid £2 for that. Um, been waiting for the price to go be right on this because um, I've got a better manager now in the Bernardo's near me. So I think this will sell for about 20 and I paid 3 for that. So that's a, that's a good one, is it not? Um, and then I've got this, which I don't know, I was dubious about it, but then because when I was in this shop, I bumped into this woman who I'd chatted with in a previous shop, who, who and I says, oh, I don't think I'm going to buy this because it's got a chip on it. So it's got a chip there and a chip inside the seal. It's a really not spectacular at all. And it's really grazed. The lighting in this Sea Rider wasn't very good. Uh, but it is proper licensed Coca Cola uh, product. And it probably will sell around Christmas. Um, they had £4 on it, and I ended up getting it for two because this woman <laughs> shouted her friend <laughs> um, <laughs> and got her to, got her to redu reduce it. So then I ended up getting it. Maybe an element of guilt there. So, I don't know, it's probably only going to be around 15 to 20. Obviously, it's a cookie jar. So, that may well be not listed until Christmas. Um, and this, so there's a Roy Castle shop at one of the places that I go to regularly. And last time I went in there, it was ridiculous. And now the prices seem to be dropping a little bit, but they didn't really have much that I wanted. I did find this Mastermind game, and that was a pound. I haven't checked the content in there. It sounds okay. Um, these sell really fast, this specific version of it. So this is the 70s version of it. 1972. I buy this, I've bought this several times, and I generally get about £15 for that. And it flies out the door. And then, I don't really know why I've picked these up, but I just wanted to see what the market was like for them, and it looks pretty rubbish, to be honest. So these are just some, like, knitting pattern things. So, not interesting in any way. They don't sell. But I've only paid 10p for these. And I've got a Lady Diana thing there, so we'll see. You never know, it might be... It might be that the market's rubbish at the moment because it's winter and um, because people aren't hostages in their houses so much. And then I got this, which is a fantastic game. I was wondering, it was all taped up in the shop and I was thinking, oh no, it's not going to be complete. But thankfully, that's why I couldn't hear anything rattling, is that they had put the stuff away. And the thing is about downfall, the instructions are always in the box lid. So you know if you've got the box, you've got the instructions. So, but I think this will sell for around 35 to 40. I've got the bigger version of it, which is the um, earlier one, which I don't know, I've, I've put that on for silly money because it's sentimental because I sold my brother's version of it. Um, but it's exactly the same as that. It's just this is in more of a compact box. But I would expect to get 35 to 40 for that. And I paid two. And then a similar era game is this Stay Alive. Which is something else that my brother really liked. So there's probably an element of sentimentality. And I haven't checked how many marbles there are in that. Because I remember ours didn't really work. Because we'd lost some of the marbles. And had like giant marbles that didn't drop through. <laughs> Um, this sells for around the 20 mark 
but again, that may spike at Christmas. So, stuff that I have got this week. I am going to photograph the majority of this now. Um, this is, I need to, this is still a little bit damp because I've just washed a little mark out of it and it's cut out. So this is quite, actually quite amazing. <laughs> um, I had a bad dream about this t-shirt last night. I dreamt that I went to list it and this label, because I knew it was curled up, I, I, I had a dream, I curled it down and it said Primark on it and not Tommy Hilfiger. <laughs> so Hilfiger edition, but yeah, it's, so it's the four great designers, Ameri American designers are. So I didn't know what the second one was, but it's Ralph Lauren, Perry Ellis, Calvin Klein and Tommy Hilfiger. And um, this is a limited edition t-shirt. I'm gonna put this on for 30 because I can't really see any of the sales that have happened for that. I'm just gonna put this here. So it'll just dry that a bit better. Cause I just literally grabbed it off the air. Okay. So I have a whole host of trousers. Trousers and jeans, I seem to have done really well on them. So I've got, I don't even remember buying this. I, I did a very, I did a trip on the tram today, or today, on Tuesday. Um, so I did end up with a fair amount of stuff. I can't remember what I've paid for these. Probably three or four pounds. They're actually quite a nice shape. They're mint velvet and they're a decent size. Uh, 16 yeah I do remember the shop that I picked this up in because at the time this woman had walked in and she then she had this meltdown with the staff who she obviously knew and she was in absolute floods of tears because her daughter has come down with Covid after having both jabs and she couldn't see her and she was just having this like meltdown in the middle of the shop I didn't say anything to her but it was I've seen a lot of that. This is Altrincham. Every shop, every time I go in the charity shops in Altrincham, I hear the same story about somebody who's had an adverse reaction to the vaccine or has got COVID because they've had the vaccine. Anyway, yeah, I think these are about three to four pounds, so I should be able to get a decent 20 on them. So there we go. That's why I wasn't thinking. I think I put stuff back in there as well. And then Diesel, Larky, um, these ones, I think I picked these up from my local, so these were three quid, but they are damaged on the thing. But I know I put, I know I've checked the crotches. There's a little bit of wear on there. I mean, it's always the same with this place. But three quid's okay, at least they weren't charging the normal idiot prices. So I think Larky goes for around 30. So with the flaws on that, I'm going to ask 20 to 25. And then this one is Rona. I think this this is a female cut, is it? Is it or not? Yeah, I think it might be. Another thing I've got to check. The last time I had it though, it didn't have that on the back. So, you know, generally it's £25 for all these jeans. I have masses of them. The Reese Drake. Um yeah. It is what it is. Again, three quid on them, size 30. They haven't got any damage. Diesel don't seem to be very well made anyway, so they always seem to have a little bit of damage. Um, and these are some Topshop Lee. They tend to go quite easily around the 20 mark. I think I charged for them, but they've got no damage. Um, again, a three quidder. Purchase Fox three quid. <laughs> um, I've never found this brand out and about. I don't think they knew what it was. I'm not sure if that's a damage on the back there, on that label, or if it's supposed to look like that. I think it's supposed to look like that. I mean, yeah, it is because it's on there. Yeah, yeah, 
this. There's nothing wrong with these. And they've got embroidered Karl or Lagerfeld on the back. Um, oh yeah, and they've got these. They've got these really cool studs on them. So I'm quite. I know. I know. I paid three pound for these as well because I was astonished at the time because these again were in Altrincham. Um, um, there's places in Altrincham who are selling Levi's for like ten pounds, which have got worse crotch wear than that one that I just showed there. I don't think there's much of a resale value on Karl Lagerfeld. That's probably only going to be twenty five again. You know, it's not that desirable and in the same shop because i think they're a female cut on them are they no not necessarily no not necessarily but these are definitely women's but they were in the men's section because they obviously couldn't read what that says but it says not your daughters and obviously as well is that they always got the us size first so these are a size 12 I need to try these on actually because I did have a pair of Not Your Daughters, which those are very nice jeans, and I know that I know that I I bought them and then decided that they were mine, but they were a bit worn in thighs, so they didn't last me very long. So they may well become mine, but they're another twenty five er. Another pair of jeans is on Bowden. Some of the Bowden stuff, some of the cuts of these jeans do go quite high because I've sold Bowden before for 40 quid and a pair of jeans. So, yeah, this is a tip from somebody called Robin and Rose, Emma, who's also based in Manchester, but we never step on each other's toes. <laughs> That's <laughs> loads of places to source in Manchester. Um, it's got a code on it and it should tell you what it is. I think it's got some marks on it there yeah and don't i think they're bleach but again i've only paid three it does look like bleach because it's there there and there yeah they're bleach There's some, they're not coming out so that's probably only going to be a 20 pounder um oh yes this was the other thing i think i bought in that shop because they seem to have a lot of mint velvet these have been through the wash hence why they're looking a bit raggedy because i was doubtful as to whether to pick them up because they had something really horrible down here which i have got out it looked very ominous um but again mint velvet size um 14 has a belt so i must keep that with it but obviously it's been through the wash so it's uh, it's loose it's loose so let's put it through the label at the top so i am going to be pressing all of this before i photograph it obviously so but i'm going to put all the trousers together and then that's half of the sorting job done um so these were three to four pound i think um long tall sally size 12 they don't look very long in fact they don't look very long at all this i mean these are perfect for me so i don't know why they're long tall sally i'm five foot three five well five foot two really me um depending on you know where i'm standing on my tiptoes um so that might be a fail because what the hell is going on with sizing there? If people wanted culottes, you know, cropped trousers or whatever, you know, you, and you have problems with the length, you would be buying long tall sandy. Right, where are we going to go with this? Let's take it out of the box and then put it back in the box. Okay, I've got another pair of trousers here. Oh, these are rogue things. So I'll get these off. This is something I showed in a previous haul, and it's fake. That's definitely fake. I've researched it. It's one of those things where you research the label, and it comes up with loads of Chinese um, websites. So very obviously fake. But it looked. It's a very good fake. 
it looks really similar to the ones on Fred Perry's website but it's just not quite right on that laurel so these are monsoon these are, are like they're not quite jacquard but they are sort of um i've had a few pairs similar to that they sell really quickly for about 20 to 25. okay what have we got what have we got put that in there put that in there this is stuff that i've got this week it's been slim pickings around here the, my usual spots this week but i did get this dress which is fat face but it's only size 10 so not too impressed with that it's got a missing belt but it has got pockets so you know 15 to 20 and then another one here this one does have the belt but again it's a size 10 um but this one i don't think it's got pockets so you know i don't know what they were doing no why are there no pockets what are you doing man so yeah another 15 to 20 because it's just it, it is very basic and i don't want to like hold on to things um there are another dress here which is really big um and it's an american brand and i put it back and then i just thought let's get it and see what it goes because you'll never find it again lulu row you see the american sellers talking about it and then i mean it's a nice print and it's roomy and it says 3xl and i would imagine i can probably sell that for 20 but i'll have to be patient probably um one of these brands that i do really well with because i seem to get a lot of it um reese a decent print on that i'm trying to only pick up the decent prints of reese but you know i'm a sucker for it when it's only like two or three pounds and i know i can sell it um then i've got a lee i don't really pick up lee that often let's put these buttons together it just looks like a looney tune shirt so the reason i picked this up is because it's got snap buttons and double pockets and the you know it's very denim and the western look in a shirt like this is really easy to sell um and i often find that the smaller sizes of that actually sell faster so who go figure but i'm only going to charge 20. but it's a quick flip so this um this is a comic relief one it does seem a bit worn um, when I get stuff like this, I do add a 10%, 5 10% donation to the charity when I get stuff like that because, you know, if we die and it's like Big Brother and they show us our best moments, I do want to have, you know, my conscience intact. So it's, it's Mickey Mouse. It doesn't sell for much. It's 15 to 20 anyway. Um, the Comet Relief stuff used to sell really well. But it seems that it's tanked. But you know, maybe when they have another comic relief, I don't know. It's well, we're not going to go back thirty or forty. You know, we're not going to go back to the eighties and nineties when the comic relief was good. So maybe it's had its day. This just a little vest top thing by uh, White Stuff. That should be an easy fifteen. Now we've got some skirts. So this was the only other thing that I found that was reasonably priced in the new, this Roy Castle place, which is huge, may I add. It's so big that they've got a big muriel above the shop of Roy Castle playing his trumpet. That's, and it's, so it's like a huge shop front, um, massive shop, you know, as big as one of these Poundland things. Got a lot of furniture in it, but, not really very competitively priced they had um dream phone in there the game the board game and they had 40 pounds on that so that's the sort of things that you're looking at but this is a really cool little print um what is it watering cans or something or i don't know um again the curly label of white stuff 
uh, size 14 and it's got pockets and that should be an easy one let's put that with the jeans and then i've had this skirt before flew out the door um what do they call it uh brother um last time i had this it had a stain on it but i got lucky this time uh, it's only a size 10 but i think the last time it was a size 10 and it's bowden and yeah easy seller um, maybe I had it at a low price previously because I knew it was a bit stained and I don't know, even when I get a stain out sometimes I'm a bit fussy about it uh, this was only £1.50 so just it's rather a cute top it's got a nice back to it so it's quite unusual and I think it's Lyocell as well which is popular with um, sustainability and vegans no it's not it must be something else but anyway this is Oliver Bonus Oliver Bonus they do do a lot of stuff in Lyocell which I think is why I thought that was the case there we are Oliver Bonus I wasn't lying so as we all know you know the guy who invented Oliver Bonus. He was, you know, one of the third parties in the government affair. He was the husband of the mistress. Um, monsoon linen trousers, really easy seller at the moment. So I'll be hoping to get them on quite sharpish. Um, 12, long. Let's test the longness. Yes, these, I can confirm, are long. Unlike long, tall Sally's, long jeans, you know. If you have a unique selling feature, why remove it? It's got some weird texture. Oh, it's like some clown. What the hell? Why would you do that? So, the hem has detached. But instead of sewing, some idiot has sellotaped it. This time doesn't take much, does it? Right, so I've got to sew them. The things that I have to get on quickly have now become repair jobs. Thanks! It's okay, we sellotaped it. This is probably a mistake, but I couldn't leave it behind because I never find hush and and this, this had a tag, and they were charging six ninety nine for it, and then I just thought, oh, do you know, just take it. You never know. Some of these, I mean, I've just sold really quick. So I've had, got loads of Levi jeans. The ones that haven't sold are the ones which are like the normal size, you know, like the size that I am. Uh, size 32, 34, 36, they're all sat there. But the ones that I've sold are the 23 waist and the 28 waist have flown out of the door so maybe it's hard for those people to get stuff maybe some people instead of putting weight on have just wasted away in lockdown but anyway this is a rah rah skirt thing elasticated so i could possibly say may fit size 8 because it will so there you go but i don't know so it was originally 55 quid but i just never find hush so i just thought well you know you can't complain that you don't find something and then leave it because it's at 6.99 and you know some of the stuff in these charity shops is so competitively priced you know it's nice to donate really um so that's manta ray this um just a size 12 top i'll put that on auction because some of them fly up in price some of them don't but you know it's it i would have paid only two or three pounds for that no maybe two um and then a manta ray dress here which has got sort of chickens on it i think are they chickens hello yeah chicken so it's it's got it's got the size label cut out but it's got it out down here and i think it's a bigger size size 16 
so sometimes they go up in a you know they go up quite high so i've got a size 18 on at the moment which is a really nice print which i've put on at silly money so i haven't had i have had interest but i think i'm asking too much because i've put 30 on it but then the weather's changed hasn't it um this i nearly put back is five pound fifty i've paid for this but it is new with tags and it is a decent print um the previous shirts i had on i put on at 30 and now i've just had like a word with myself and i've put them down 25 somebody sent me an offer today on one of them for 20 and i've accepted it because i paid five pounds and you know who cares and you need a bit of movement and it's a decent print and once the doors open to the clubs and people go out and then they realise that all their going out clothes are tight and they look, you know, ridiculous in it, you know, they'll come to us. They'll come to us with open arms. This is Paul and Shark. I've done that so that I don't forget that it's got that detail under the collar on that. I've got another one of these which I haven't listed yet because it's got a stupid stain on it um, which I'm trying to get out but it's like it's like black tar oh, great thanks so 20 on that um, this jumper this feels really nice I think it's Angora where are we only 16% Angora, the rest of it's viscose, but it's really, really soft. Um, I put anything on regardless of what it is, because it sells. I sold a jumper dress yesterday, no, this morning. So there you go. Another cardigan, which I think has got, this has also got Angora in it. Uh, really nice. It's only River Island, but River Island got some wacky prices on their stuff. Oh, what's going on here? What's going on? River Island, size 16. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. What are we saying? Lamb's wool, 15% Angora, and it's nice. It's got a nice trim on it, and I don't think that'll hang around too long. £20 I'm going to put on that. Same with this. Bowden. I'm not, I'm, I'm trying not to be too stupid with my prices because I've realised that pricing correctly is the winning formula i do put a lot of things on auction as well to try and drive a bit of traffic um bowden size 12 what you call that tape stuff i should know i do sew in and i don't know what it's called but there you go that should be an easy sell um i think i'm on my one pound stuff yes i am so those three now, those two cardigans and that jumper were a pound. This was a pound because I would never pick up Fenrite Monson. Um, but it's a really nice velvet jacket and it was a pound. This is a shop which is just, you know, well, the other pound shop and the other decent shop is closed. So the fact that there's only one left when the others are like, I don't know where they think they are. Okay, so this is the first time I found this brand. So I, th I thought it was this, I thought, I always see in it, it's this the Parisian collection and just think, and I'm always fooled into thinking that it's this. So this is the first time I've ever found Peruvian connection and it was a pound. Um, so obviously made in Peru. <laughs> it's got tie detail on that. I, I, don't know what I'm going to fetch for this. Everybody raves about it, and it says it's cotton and bamboo. It's, it's it is quite nice. I'll probably find a hole in it when it comes to it, but if it, well, it's it's okay for this time of year, isn't it? If somebody wants a jumper for this time of year, and then this for a pound, this for a pound. Oh, give me, I'm giving you, giving my money in. Um, Weird fish XL. Uh, macaroni knit, huge oversized knit thing, half zip, quarter zip even, um, menswear. I generally think that menswear goes better with this because 
you know, there's a certain type of man who wants that. Um, I'll probably try 30 for that. I hope to get 25. Another one pound find. This should, I mean, I'll be getting this on Sharpish because of the Cruella film that's out. So it's size 18, but same sprays, but it's got Dalmatians all over it. So, you know, a no brainer to get that on quickly. I've seen lots of bright young things wearing Cruella t-shirts. Mind you, you know, they, maybe there's no mention of Dalmatians in the new film. It's not like I've seen it. Um, a monsoon top. They had a fair few monsoon tops and I left them, you know, and they, you know, they were a pound, but I still left them. For some reason, I've picked this one up. It's probably because I want to go through the hell that is looking at something and then realising that a sequin is missing. So it's got sequin detail on it um, and it's size 14. So hopefully that will be okay. Probably only £15, but you know, hell, I paid a pound. Another Oliver bonus. I mean, this looks like a baby grow, for the love of God. It probably is a baby grow. What is this? I mean, I don't understand this. You wouldn't see me wearing that. I'd dip that in the toilet. You know, I know you're supposed to tie it, but I'd dip it in the toilet. And if, there, if it's a tie the other way, it, you know, it, I won't be wearing that because it's prone to get wiped. So, yeah, on bonus, size 12, baby grow. Um, don't pick jewels up that often, but this was, I couldn't give a damn if it was a pound. Um, and it is size 12. Last time, last few I've picked up of these stupid, like, mini sizes. So, nautical, all day long. We're coming to an end, don't worry. What's this? It would help if I doesn't wasn't it around upside down. So parrots on that, manta ray, again a pound, so who cares? Uh, why is the size label been cut out? Size 24, size 20, apparently. So yeah, I should do quite well with that because it's a larger size and Debenhams is no longer with us. Um, Kat Kidston, very boring top, but for a pound, um, I've given that a risk. Probably only be twelve ninety nine on that. This is, oh, this is brand new. So, brand new with tags. Per Uno skirt, I've sold these before, probably only around £15. But it's really nice. It's one of those ones where... I mean, who paid £40 for that originally? Well, they didn't, did they? Because it got cut to 22 but they've sold it. Um, yeah, it's quite nice. Um, you can't go wrong for a pound with that. And then the last thing I have, I think this is another monsoon. This is size 22, um, satiny, um, sort of knobhead top. <laughs> I just wouldn't wear it. Oh. oh, it's a learning curve, I tell you, because I just, you know, I have a goth style. So I'm great when it comes to the pricking up of gothic brands, but when it comes to stuff like this, it feels very satiny and silky, but it's modal. But the size should sell that. So that's everything that I've got this week. Um... I don't know, I think I'm being a bit more picky, but I don't know, some of that stuff I wouldn't necessarily have picked up if it wasn't for the fact that it was a pound. But it's here, it, it's mine now, so I'm going to get selling this, going to get photographing this. That's the thing that I'm doing, is photographing a whole host of stuff so that I can just push on with what I'm doing. Okay, I'm going to leave it there now, I'm going to get on with this. And um, here comes Stephen to say goodbye. Ugh. Right, and I've got Pinky with me. She's one of the 1979 gang. So, yeah. Thanks for putting up with putting with watching all of that. Um, 
now I need to start getting on with it. What time are we on? It's half past two. It's late. It's Friday. We need to get ironing. Okay, thanks for watching and goodbye.